All right, guys. So we got the debates coming on tonight at 9 o'clock. There's actually supposed to be a seven-minute delay in the debates. I wonder what could go wrong with that. I wonder what could go wrong with the entire debate, okay? It's, it's going to be arranged and sort of set up to favor uh, Sleepy Joe. So uh, I want you to get prepared for that, and I want to, uh, <laughs> want to see you, and I want to show you uh, how the mainstream media is trying to prepare their audience uh, for the Trump debates. And this is going to be absolutely not shocking to you <laughs> if you have been paying attention uh, because it's us against them, literally. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and react to this MSNBC uh, clip here, and we're going to defend our president. Donald Trump will lie, and we know that he will lie because we know that he will speak, and it is impossible for him to do one without the other. There's that. Hi again, everybody. It's 5 o'clock in New York. Just four hours to go until the first presidential debate of the 2024 presidential election cycle. There's one thing we... I'm going to sort of do a fact check in real time based on what we know. And we're going to uh, basically uh, counter everything she says. Because the liars always call you a liar. You know, that, that's, that's like the weakest argument that a, that a liar actually has to flip it around and call you a liar. So we know a lot already that's actually true. So let's use what we actually know is true to combat what she's saying. We know for sure, and there's not a lot we know for sure, but there is one thing we know for sure about how tonight will go down. Donald Trump will lie about lots of things. He lies about things big and small. He lied more than 30,000 times during his presidency, including about... All right, stop right there. Is Donald Trump lying about the borders being wide open and millions of millions and millions of um, <clears throat> new people coming into the country? Is he lying about that, guys? Because what is he lying about? I'm curious to know because we're uh, the conservative uh, movement and some of the people stuck in the middle. We're concerned about the actual policies that are going to be implemented by Donald Trump. What does Donald Trump talk about the most? The things that we actually care about. Can you afford Joe Biden? No. Uh, I don't know about you, but I can't afford Joe Biden. I don't care how much money you make, but you just can't afford a Joe Biden. Uh, when someone's trying to collapse the dollar in your country, when it's actually going to excuse me, be, be worth not a lot of money, uh, if you have seen that uh, interview with Tucker Carlson when he went to, I believe it was Argentina, uh, and he had that... He, he traded a hundred dollar bill at the exchange uh, for a, a big bag of money and they just kept wheeling it out it was like stacks of money a <laughs> hundred dollar of american dollar uh, in trade for some of the uh, argentina money uh he had stacks and stacks of dollars uh, in argentina money that means that dollars collapsed that government got so corrupt that they uh you know destroyed the dollar so that's um absolutely what joe biden intends on to do here in the united states so as I said, let's uh, fact check about what we actually already know. So Donald Trump has not lied about the economy uh, and he has not lied about the newcomers coming into the country uh, by the millions. All right. He hasn't lied about that. So those are two big truths that we actually know about uh, that is going to uh, win him the election losing the 2020 election and he has lied continuously since he left office tonight well uh hillary clinton is still saying that she won uh the 2016 election all right she said uh trump was illegitimate you can look these clips up they're everywhere all over the internet uh so hillary clinton has said that repeatedly on several uh occasions where you know she still believes that she won and trump is an illegitimate or was an illegitimate president um so um you know, I think that uh, that argument is absolutely dead. <laughs> we can say, uh, you, you know, I think that you should be entitled to say whether you think you won or you, you didn't. All right. So, um, you know, that is uh, I don't know why that gets under their skin so much uh, when, you know, it really shouldn't get under their skin. Right. If you really think about it, if, if they uh, if this was such a lie, why did they keep bringing it up so much? Like, isn't that crazy? Oh, I just I just wonder why they keep doing that. Trump did mention 2000 mules, by the way. Um, maybe uh, maybe he's not lying about that. <laughs> I guess we'll have to see later. <laughs> will be no different.
But beyond the lies, tonight's debate will be unlike any other, even different than when President Joe Biden and then President Donald Trump faced off in 2020. That is because the current president of the United States will now be on stage debating a man with 34 criminal convictions, a man found liable for sexual assault, a man. By the way, Trump's going to have those overturned because it's lawfare uh, and there's a lot of trouble in that case, guys. There's a reason why they didn't want to bring the case in the first place. Uh, Alvin Bragg could probably tell you that uh, if he wasn't, uh, you know, trying to go after Trump for uh, just notoriety, basically, and uh, just to get himself well known, basically. Um, but, you know, if uh, this was going to stick, it would have already stuck, don't you think? <laughs> so they've been trying to uh, get Trump ever since he ran for president because uh, he's simply going against the establishment. The establishment are the Washington, D.C.ians uh, who have, uh, you know, uh, promoted and funded endless wars with the taxpayer dollars. Now, the taxpayer, do the taxpayer doesn't agree that his dollars should go to endless wars. Now you got some crazy kooks out here that believe that, uh, you know, that it's okay to do that. that we should be uh, helping, you know, the other the country over there that uh, no one can really spell or can find on the map. Even though I actually have family. Uh, my wife has family close by, um, and it's not what you think, guys. But anyway, uh, you know. We don't believe that we should, uh, you know, fund those kinds of wars. We don't want to do that. Uh, it could get us in big trouble, and it, any war would get you closer to a world war, don't you think? So, anyone who says that they want to fund some wars and just because they want to help someone out, uh, I think that's a little naive to think that uh, you know people have that good intention all the time, right? They just have a good intention to help. Um, I wouldn't trust that. I wouldn't trust our government to do those kind of things with our money. Uh, so be careful what you uh, wish for. Who, when he didn't win last time, incited a violent and deadly insurrection on our... False. Trump didn't incite a violent insurrection. He actually, in this, you can find this uh, on video. You can look it right up. Uh, he asked everyone to go home and, uh, you know, actually, he asked them to march peacefully, first of all. Uh, and then when everything was over, he asked them to go home. Literally. Okay. Uh, so and he actually uh, requested the National Guard be there three days before the January 6. So, you know, Nancy Pelosi's choice not to do that, um, as we can uh, uh, actually look up the information and find that right online as well uh, on the video. Uh, she was actually responsible for that. And Trump has a letter uh, from Miriam Bowser, who is the mayor of Washington, D.C., who also declined the National Guard. Uh, so that's a pretty big deal. Declining a National Guard for such a big event. Now, Trump has a lot of followers, uh, so it would make sense to have a National Guard there to keep uh, things under control. And who wouldn't want to do that? Um, but, you know, without a National Guard, um, yeah, it's probably going to be a little bit reckless when you got a lot of people and their feelings are involved. So smart decision by Trump, bad decision by Nancy Pelosi and Miriam Bowser. OK, so uh, the January 6th stuff is just absolute garbage really is it really is i mean i you know if it were if it were any truth to it if it really looked like it was something serious i would say it i would i would i would be on uh, the side of uh, uh the people proposing that it was uh, such a big problem and it was trump's fault i don't think it was trump's fault trump actually did the right things uh, i would have probably done things a little bit differently because i'm a different person but i think trump made a really good decision on what he said and it's on record uh, it's recorded you can actually go look it up on your own country nothing about tonight is normal as much as there are people who want to put this debate in terms of policy positions or foreign policy agendas that might come up, the contrast is actually a lot simpler. Uh, so policy is pretty simple. OK, she's trying to tell you that uh, you don't have to worry about policy. Uh, it's not about that. It's actually more simple. It's, it's simple. Yeah, policy is very simple. Either you want open borders or you don't. Either you, you want a really good economy where you can afford your eggs, bread, and cereal, and whatever else you need uh, at an affordable price like when Trump was in office before. Remember how uh, cheap things were when Trump was in office? Yeah, they were very cheap. I remember. Um, so they're telling you that that doesn't really matter uh, because your feelings about Joe Biden should be, should be so strong. Actually, your feelings and your hate towards Trump should actually be so intensified that you don't even care about the policy let's see where she's going to go with that i'm pretty sure that's that's what she's going to tell you that one of these guys is better than the other guy because he's just a golden child one candidate obeys and reveres the rule of law even when it ensnares his own son the other loathes it is running on 
entirely false. I uh, don't think Joe Biden has been following the law, <laughs> okay, just because uh, he didn't pardon his son, okay? No, 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 no. Not so fast, sweetheart. Uh, there has been a lot of proof, a lot of proof, a lot of checks, a lot of payments. Uh, when Hunter Biden was on the board of Burisma and Joe Biden had the prosecutor fired, all this stuff is in record, okay? Uh, and this is a big reason why Hunter Biden's in so much trouble. The laptop from hell, come to find out that was actually real, okay? And Joe Biden denied uh, knowing about his son's business deals, but we all know that that was also a lie, okay? Um, Joe Biden said that Hunter Biden was the smartest guy he knows, but he's on crack. How could he be one of the smartest guys that he knows if he's on crack? You mean to tell me that all Joe Biden's friends and all, everybody he knows are uh, crack? On, you know, they, 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 they're just... They're all good people because, I mean, are they all on crack? I mean, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Are they all on crack, Joe? Are all of your friends on crack? Are they good people? You know, so, you know, who's a liar here? Who would lie? The father of a crackhead <laughs> or the father of some college graduates? I think you got to do some real good research here, guys, because what you're going to find out is that they've been lying on Trump for a very long time. And it's very sad. It's very sad that we got to combat these people every single day all right we have to look at them and we have to roll their films and we have to tell you why and, and you have to go do your own research because it's all there it's literally all there all the research that we're everything we're telling you that we've got all the receipts all right so trump is in the one line and you'll feel you i promise you you'll find out i guarantee you when the smoke clears you're gonna see Trump completely exonerated from all of this. Watch. Destroying it. One candidate is trying to protect America's democracy. The other. Democracy, democracy, democracy. That's all they talk about. Protect what? De what is democracy? Define it for us. Uh, give us an explanation uh, for the American people who might not be paying attention. What's your democracy all about? Huh? Is it lawlessness? Is it California? Because we don't like what California looks like. Is that democracy? Because they praise Gavin Newsom, okay? They praise Gavin Newsom. If you guys don't know who that is, he's the governor of California, all right? Where it's an absolute crap hole, okay? Homeless people everywhere. What is democracy? What does it look like, guys? Is it Washington, D.C., where, I mean, even President Biden's uh, vehicles have tried, you know, they've tried to steal his vehicles? Okay, you can't go to California even if you're a Secret Service agent without getting into a shootout. Is that democracy? Is democracy the liberal cities, the Democrat-ran cities for decades now? Are those, is that democracy right there? Do you want that kind? Is that democracy? Okay, is that it? Or, or, you, or do you like law and order? Somebody that's going to be hard uh, on criminals. Somebody that's going to make your streets walkable. You, know, you can walk down the block and go to the store. It, it, that's democracy. All right, th this word they're throwing out, it, it really doesn't mean anything to them, okay? This is just a, a dog whistle, basically, that, a term that they use, uh, you know, to make it sound really important, you know? When to them, they really don't care. You're going to see that the roles are absolutely reversed. They're trying to uh, accuse Trump of every single thing that Joe Biden actually is, and it's going to come out. Watch. Is got it on a website that he's going to dismantle it. One puts the country before himself. The other puts himself before the country. And is She's saying that Joe Biden puts the country before himself. When? Anybody else out there struggling a little bit? Uh, do we see Ukraine getting billions and billions with a B, a big capital B? Ukraine's getting billions and billions and billions and billions and billions and billions of dollars of taxpayer dollars, uh, which we have no control over. And he puts the country before himself. What is this woman looking at the same thing we're looking at? Is she talking about the same Joe Biden that we're looking at? I don't think so. So, guys, the debates are going to be on at 9 o'clock. I'm going to be there rocking and rolling. I wish I could stream it live. They won't actually. CNN uh, has retained rights to the debates where they won't let YouTubers actually comment on it. Isn't that crazy? They don't, they don't want us to combat what they're saying. They don't want us to live stream it. Uh, but there are, there are ways around it. But I'm just not that sophisticated on the programming yet. 
Uh, but I thank you for watching. And look, we're going to win this regardless. It doesn't matter. Listen, I don't care if Joe Biden, like, he could r- literally walk in <clears throat> with an American flag wrapped around him and tick off and fly. It doesn't matter what he does. He's not going to win. He's about to get smoked like a salmon. That's exactly what's about to happen to Joe Biden. Okay. I don't care how many vitamin B shots. I don't care how many testosterone boosters that he takes. It doesn't matter. He doesn't want the smoke with Donald Trump. We already know that. Uh, If the man makes it onto stage, okay, in one piece, we'll be surprised. But those are the only standards they're setting for Joe Biden. He doesn't really have to do much, but he will lose the election, period. Let's just tell people on the street, just walking to people, just like, Trump going to win, period. All right? Just stay home because Trump is going to win. Just tell people that. All right? You got to talk to your enemies and let them know they're losing. All right? This has been Yup, I Said It. Thank you guys for watching. Enjoy the debates. I'll catch you on the next one. I love you.